This begins with a tragedy. Eiki Muramatsu, at only 24, had a fatal accident just as he was achieving fame as a racing driver. Satoko Naganuma was his manager and his fiance. Determined to keep Eiki's spirit alive, she formed a new racing team and two years later is back on the circuits. The team that Satoko formed, however, is unique. It's called She's F3, and the manager, mechanic, leader, and timekeeper are women. It is the first all-female racing team in the world. Heather Bailey, an English racer, drives for the team, and all team members are dedicated to competing with men on the same level and breaking the barriers of this male-dominated sport. Of the 45 cars in today's time trial, only 32 will make it to the finals. Kelly is determined to be among them. I think the only Formula 3 team that's all women, and I'm very happy to be here. I think we'll be very successful. We're all working very hard. Heather, new to Japan, is unfamiliar with the course, so she's slower than the rest. Satoko feels the strain. Something's wrong with the engine, and Heather brings the car in for repairs. Eiki's friends help as the pit crew. Time is critical, and Satoko translates Heather's problem. Adjustments are finished, and Heather re-enters the race. Satoko's The trial results bring a smile to Satoko's face. Heather placed 14. This means he'll be in the finals. She's F3 is based in Tokyo, and with 10 races yearly to finance, finding money is a constant problem. Corporations, Satoko has found, are reluctant to sponsor an all-female team. Living in the apartment <laughs> the years, memories of their life together surround her. They believed in carrying through to the end, never giving up halfway. Satoko and her team feel the same and are determined to keep their will to win alive.